Good day everyone. I am April Sabanal, a BLIS third year student of the NESCOS. For today's video, I am going to discuss Chapter 9 Analysis of Data. Statistical analysis is concerned with the development and application of methods and techniques for organizing and analyzing data. This text will not attempt to teach readers how to conduct a statistical analysis. It will indicate the kinds of things that statistical analysis can and cannot do while emphasizing the care that should be exercised. Role of Statistics The field of statistics involves methods for describing and analyzing data and for making inferences about phenomena represented by the data. The basic purpose of statistical analysis is to summarize observations or data in such a manner that they provide answers to hypotheses or research questions. Statistics facilitate drawing general conclusions based on specific data. Cautions in using statistics Statistics are necessary for most research studies involving quantitative data and are particularly crucial at the sampling and analysis stages. The more controlled the research setting, the less is the need in general for certain statistical techniques. Finnick describes the problems associated with statistics that are not used properly and provides examples. The conceptual development of a research study should not be dictated by the statistical techniques to follow. Steps involved in statistical analysis Regardless of the specific techniques or tests employed, there are certain basic steps common to virtually all statistical analysis. Those steps will be discussed briefly before taking a more detailed look at the major types of analysis. The Establishment of Categories The identification of establishment of categories should take place before the data are gathered. The actual categorization of the data takes place during or after the collection process. In establishing categories, four basic rules or guidelines should be followed. One, the set of categories or values for any one variable should be derived from a single classificatory principle which is determined by the research question or hypothesis being investigated. Two, each set of categories should be exhaustive. Three, the categories within each set should be mutually exclusive. Four, last but not least, the development of categories should be based on a sound knowledge of the subject matter and an anticipation of likely responses. Coding the data. Pre-coding can help minimize the amount of coding errors and thus increase reliability. Inaccuracies can emerge during the coding process as a result of observations being assigned to the wrong category. Problems with the categories may also lead to a lack of reliability particularly if they do not meet basic guidelines. Direct data entry may now be the most common technique for producing data files. Most survey research organizations use a database management program to control data entry. Analyzing the data, descriptive statistics. Graphs are especially useful for displaying the findings of a research study that is a large number of cases. Graphs include bar graphs, pie charts, histograms, and frequency polygons. The design of such devices has become easier with the widespread availability of data analysis software. The standard deviation is one of the most frequently used measures of dispersion or variability. It reflects the amount of deviation from the mean for the observed scores. Descriptive statistics measure the relationship between or among the different variables in the data. Analyzing the data, inferential statistics. Inferential statistics help one to make inferences about what exists on the basis of only partial evidence. Inferential statistics are of two basic types, parametric and non-parametric. They are used only when certain conditions exist such as a coin flips, flip from a negative to a number of concordance. The majority of articles using inferential statistics were authored by librarians or library management personnel. Parametric Statistics 
most important parametric statistics require the assumption of a normal population or distribution. If the sample grown from a population has 100 or more cases, the normality assumption can almost always be relaxed. It is sampling distributions, not populations, that form the basis for tests of significance. Parametric tests assume that the data being analyzed are primarily interval or ratio level data. Parametric tests are relatively powerful or likely to detect a difference between groups if a difference really exists. Some examples of frequently used parametric tests include the following. Z-test, students, t-test, difference of means, analysis of variance, post hoc test. Non-parametric statistics. Non-parametric statistics are less powerful than the parametric test. They require larger samples in order to yield the same level of significance. The null hypothesis is to be rejected if the sample results are among the results that would have occurred no more than 5% of the time. Non-parametric tests are usually but not always used with the ordinal level data. Five common examples are as follows. 1. Chi-square test. 2. Manu Whitney U test. 3. Wilcoxon sign test. 4. Spearman rank order correlation or Spearman's P. 5. Crossgall Wallace test. Selecting the appropriate statistical test. The various statistical tests must meet certain conditions before being appropriate for use. Certain tests call for a normal population, others for a particular level of measurement. Most of the examples presented here were intended for the analysis of either one group or two groups. In this scenario, we have calculated the mean library skill scores for two groups of subjects. There is a difference of 20 points between the mean test scores of the two groups. Cautions and testing the hypothesis. There is a growing interest in meta-analysis which generally refers to a set of statistical procedures used to summarize and integrate many studies that focus on the same issue. It represents a numerical rather than narrative method of relating findings and is considered more objective, reliable, and rigorous. Statistical Analysis Software Using a statistical software package via servers is an efficient technique for analyzing large amounts of data. ManyTab is a relatively easy-to-use statistical and graphical analysis software package. SPSS is a comprehensive, versatile, and relatively easy-to-use computer program for statistical analysis. StatPack for Windows provides modules containing many of the basic and advanced statistical methods. Some basic statistical tools are completely available online such as the RISE Virtual Lab in Statistics. Analysis of Non-Quantified Data Not all research data is susceptible to quantification and such data may not lend themselves to statistical analysis, yet they may still have a contribution to make to the analysis and interpretation of the results of a study there are research methods and techniques specifically designed to gather non-quantitative or qualitative data. One of the key activities of qualitative analysis is the coding of data. Summary The typical basic steps in statistical analysis are categorizing the data and coding the data. Descriptive statistics deal with the tabulation of data, their presentation in tabular, graphical, or pictorial form. Inferential statistics can estimate population parameters and test relationships between variables and groups.